Welcome to New Ask Practical Science. I'm Dr. Woodrow. Today we're going to look at elements, compounds and mixtures. Um, we're going to look at three different um, substances we have here. We have magnesium, oxygen and we have magnesium oxide. And I'm going to show you the differences between the two elements, magnesium ox and oxygen, and the compound magnesium oxide. So we're going to look at some of their properties first. Here I have my magnesium. All right, I've got some magnesium ribbon small pieces here uh, in this lid. All right, there's some there. You can also get bigger bits too. There's a big bit there. And we're going to look at a couple of the properties of, of the magnesium. I have a circuit here. Um, so, so I've got a row of five batteries connected up by a wire to a bulb and I've got some more wires and then crocodile clips at the end. And you can see I have connected a piece of magnesium up to the circuit. You can see it's completing the circuit and you can see that the light is on. So that tells us that the magnesium conducts electricity. I'll take away the, uh, the magnesium so you see it's not a trick, okay? So the magnesium conducts electricity. That's one property that you should know about magnesium, it is a metal, all right? The next thing we're going to test for magnesium, we're gonna see if it's magnetic. So I have a magnet here, and we're gonna see, and you can see it's not magnetic, okay? Which is what you'd expect, because magnesium isn't one of those magnetic metals. Good, so that's magnesium. So two aspects of its properties that you know. It's not magnetic, and it conducts electricity. Here we have some oxygen, not really much to see. It's in a gas jar, it's a gas, it's invisible, it's not, no colour, but we know something, we should know something about oxygen. We know that oxygen likes to make fires, um, so it will support burning, combustion, whatever you'd like to call it. So I'm going to test the oxygen just to show you that we have got oxygen in there and to show you what its property is. So I've got my oxygen in the gas jar here. I'm going to bring it closer to my Bunsen. Um, I have a splint. All right, um, I'm going to light it and then I'll, I'll, I'll light it and then I'll blow it out so it's glowing. And then when it's glowing, I'm going to put it into the oxygen in the gas jar. I have to do it fairly quickly because all the oxygen will escape from the gas jar because it's lighter than air and we don't want that. We want to, we want to use the oxygen again. So here we go, I'll light my splint. So here we have our lighted splint. You can see it's burning nicely. All right, I'm going to make it into a glowing splint, so I'll blow it out. We have our glowing splint, now I'm going to put it into the gas jar, and you can see, like magic, it's relit that splint. Right, I'll show it, do it again, so you believe me. Okay, so glowing splint, going into the oxygen gas, and get the lid off. Oh, there we go, and relit. Okay, so that shows that we've got our oxygen. That tells us our property for oxygen, that it supports combustion, that it um, will make things burn. So we've got our magnesium, we've, got, we've done our properties of magnesium, we've done our property of oxygen. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is magnesium oxide. I haven't got any here, all right? Um, so I'm going to make some by burning some. I'll do it first of all in in air, all right? And then I will burn it, the, some magnesium in the oxygen in the gas flame. Right? So I need a hot flame for this. So I'm gonna to go to the hottest flame on the Bunsen burner. You can see we've got the roaring flame, roaring because it uh, makes a noise. Um, now, oh, my tongs. So I've attached my magnesium to the piece of tongs, the tongs, right? And here we go. I'm going to light it, turn look at it directly, and there you go, nice bright white light, lots of smoke given off there, and we've made our compound of magnesium oxide, and you can see I just, I've just placed it onto the, uh, onto the heat proof mat, and you can see it's a white solid, all right? You can see it's different from the original magnesium, the magnesium was silver in appearance, all right? Shiny silver, like you'd expect for a metal. But our magnesium oxide is now a white compound. So 
Okay, I'll do that one again, but this time I'll do that with oxygen, pure oxygen in the gas chamber. Now I'm going to need, let's turn that down. I'm going to move my gas jar over here. I'm going to need one of these. This is called a deflagrating spoon, all right? Just basically a spoon on a wire, and it's got a lid for the gas jar. Now I'm going to make sure it's the right height, because it's not too high. Now, the tricky bit is trying to get the magnesium to light. So I'm going to just bend the magnesium around a bit. And, oh, fell off. Make sure my bunting's nice and hot again. Move the oxygen nearer. And I'll light my magnesium. I have to wait until it's the light, because it's glowing. And there we go. Oh, so in pure oxygen, you can see, we don't get as much of the smoke there. Um, it burns brighter than it does in just air. And you can see, on the spoon, we've got this white solid. I'll scrape it off. And there we go. So here's our white solid. So you can see the differences so far, just in appearance, between our three substances. We have our magnesium, which is silver in appearance, in colour, right? If you represented by these little, uh, these little particles, all right? We have our oxygen. All right, which is colourless, but I've got some red. I've got some red particles to represent the oxygen. There are two oxygens in an oxygen molecule, two oxygens joined up. And our magnesium oxide, when they join up, you can see one magnesium goes with one oxygen to make our magnesium oxide. You can see they've joined up to make a compound. We have a chemical bond between the red oxygen atom here and the silver magnesium atom there. All right, so that's our compound. We're going to test our uh, magnesium oxide. So I'm going to bring this over here. Let's see if it's magnetic. All right, so I'll take that away. And so the compound isn't magnetic. You can see that the light doesn't go up. So it's not a magnetic compound. Okay, and Sorry, it's not a, it doesn't conduct electricity. All right, let's see if it's magnetic, okay? And it's not a magnetic compound either. You can see it's not attracted to the magnet. So, um, it doesn't conduct electricity. <laughs> okay, so there's our magnesium again. So here are uh, three substances, all right? Two of them are elements. Magnesium and oxygen are elements. They have different properties because they're different elements. and. Um, burning those together makes magnesium oxide a compound and you can see that that magnesium oxide has different properties to both the oxygen and the magnesium. And this is one of the things that you should know um, about elements and compounds. They have different properties. It's one way to, uh, to know the difference between them. Okay, now the next thing we're going to look at are um, Two or three other substances, all right?